Assalamu alaikum, my name is Muhammad Ali Raza and welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing Chamber uh, where I talk about collab email marketing and Figma email designing most of the time. So if you want to uh, digest such type of content, so don't forget to subscribe my channel. So today I am going to discuss with you eighth class of our Figma email designing series. Okay, so let's get started. So in this class, basically, uh, I will show you how you can create glass morphism like this. Okay, so there are basically six steps that I will show you and you can just follow my footsteps and you can create your uh, glass morphism. And mostly we are using uh, this effect in our email designs, uh, but it depends. Okay, so, so you can see how you can create the glass morphism in Figma. Okay, so the first step is I uh, take rectangle. So I will uh, have a rectangle here. So I can have it here. Okay. And okay, done. So then set its transparency at 10%. So you have to set it at 10% and then apply stroke and then add gradient. So here you can see. So I just have to click on plus icon to add the stroke here and then click on fill icon and then click here uh, gradient. Okay. So then uh, add gradient, set gradient at cross angle, like it should be at cross angle. So how you can uh, set them at cross angle? So go to this uh, like white circle. So you can see the four uh, like corners, then you can drag it uh, using the left button of your mouse. And I same with this. Uh, so here you can see it is at cross angle. So now I want to have the color here, this one. And for this one, I want to have a black color, this one. Okay, cross it. So ensure opacity 50% for first stroke. So this is our first stroke. So have 50% uh, for this case, for this stroke. And then uh, add another stroke. So click on plus icon again uh add another stroke with 20 percent transparency so it is by default 20 percent so you don't have to play with it so but you have to click here go to the gradient and same make it at cross angle okay and set this color uh, this one and this is automatically black so cross it and cross it and then uh, add effect background blur so and set its value 35 percent so click on effects background blur and click here and set it uh, sorry 35 okay so we are done with all these steps but we can't see the effect you will see but for that uh, let's have some 3d ball uh, 3d ball uh this one okay so then i will put this behind the rectangle and so we can see the effect clearly so right click on this bring to front so here you can see the effect so you can uh blur this uh, ball so effects and layer blur and you can set it at 15 so it's looking nice. So now I uh, click on the text. So gloss, bold it. Okay. And so you can increase the size of the text by pressing control, shift, and arrow, uh, right arrow from your keyboard, like this. Okay. And I can change the font to Alphatica okay like this and right click on this bring to front so you can see the effect and then i will copy it and i will have another text section here block here so more freedom okay so so here it is so we are done 
so this is the basically gloss morphism that we have here so this is a uh, like an image our gradient so that is another thing uh, so the main uh, topic of the discussion for the today was this section like gloss morphism how you can create this one so if you will put some image uh, behind this uh, like uh, gloss morphism you will see the effect more clear so click on it bring to front so here you can see so let me increase the size so here you can see the effect okay so hope this was new for you and good to learn in this tutorial short tutorial but something uh, great to learn and please let me know how is your experience with my figma email designing series so this is our eighth class and if you have not started from first class, so go to my channel Marketing Chamber and there uh, go to the playlist Figma Email Designing Series and start learning email designing skill so that you can start your freelancing and you can uh, upsell your skill set. So stay tuned, stay happy. Thank you.